The four and three Georgia State Panthers make the skip in Atlanta from downtown to midtown to face the six and one Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Let's see if the Panthers can pull off the upset. The last time these two squads faced off against each other was in 2011. Tech took the decision in a 35 point blowout. The Panthers then fell to three and five and Sherman Baldwin Tenner's third year as head coach. Starting guard Tatiana Jackson has missed the last three games. The team is waiting for the MRI results. KK Williams puts Georgia State on the board first with the leaner. She contributed six points and is still on the night for the Panthers. GSU took a 10 to seven lead in the first quarter and then it was all Yellow Jackets. Junior guard Antonio Parasol knocked down five three-pointers, which was four more than the entire Panther squad. The Italian native led all scores with 18 points. Kenesha Nichols stood out the most for Georgia State with nine points, six rebounds, and two blocks. However, her effort wasn't enough as the Panthers lost 73 to 42. Assistant coach Latricia Trimmel said rebounding could have used improvement. You know, like you said, out rebound. Yeah, they had 62 rebounds to our 33. And so we've just got to learn how to adjust, you know what I mean, and do some of those little things that make the big things happen. And I think once we get to that point, um, you're going to see some great things happen from our team. Georgia State is now back at 500 with a 4-4 four four record on the year. After a couple weeks of focusing on finals, Georgia State will return to the court on December 15th against Alabama. For primetime sports from Georgia Tech, I'm Rashad Milligan.